Hello. Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. And I am here to let you know that there's still some black coming up here. However, there is a really exciting time coming up for quite a few people that they have been waiting for a long time. Some of you waiting for that five-year cycle or that two-year cycle or a lot of the things that you've been bringing full circle, it's going to be here. And the things that I'm going to talk to you about, yeah, it's going to keep expanding into next year, into 2015. So we are at a great time right now. And uh, all of you out there in Twin Flame Landia, you know that uh, the solstice, the winter solstice, along with the uh, full, I'm sorry, the new moon coming up here in a few days, that this is going to pack a lot of energies. Now, just to backtrack a little bit, the uh, portal of opportunity was in March, and then April was like crash, boom, bang time. A lot of you felt body slammed through it, and a lot of you held on. And a lot of you really started cleaning and clearing in earnest in different cycles and all kinds of stuff is coming up. Earth karma to finish, cosmic karma to finish, universal karma to finish, and you're concluded. And furthermore, a lot of you have aligned yourself to begin really merging with your twin. Now, it was thought at one time or believed at one time, and we had a plan to ascend in 2012, that was the original plan. However, that uh, that plan got elongated, as my guides like to call it. It wasn't delayed, it was elongated. And whatever, a word is a word, but the bottom line is, yes, yeah, some of us had to wait longer. Meanwhile, while waiting longer, uh, the process continued. And the process of uh, getting physically prepared and while a lot of people like to believe that this is spiritual growth, and it is. I won't say it isn't. It's a lot more than that. And it is a very physical ascension. For many people, it is not just a physical ascension up into the fourth dimensional level of living. It is going to be their resurrection of their brand new light body and the ability to go into the fifth dimension. Now, what I'm going to talk to you about today is entering into the new, and what is new? Well, some of you have already been experiencing this, but this is the point where we are about to really um, have those couples that have lined themselves, a lot of them Blu-ray Illumin Twin Flames. A lot of you have had some experience of this. And for some of you, it was at the last Earth ascent about 8,000 years ago. And some of you remember cultures or civilizations like uh, ancient Sumeria, for example. And some of you remember some of the stuff that happened. And Earth's history goes way back beyond that. Some of you remember it. But that's not really the focus here. What I'm what I, the reason I touch on that is that for some of you, those times was actually where you, you did elevate somewhat. And now you're going to do the rest of it. So what we're coming into now for people is their full merge. So a lot of you have been working on parts of your body. You've been working on yourself. You've been working on how you relate to other things from within your union. And this is whether you're physically with your twin, whether your twin has died and is just outside this level, whether you have separated from your beloved. If you are maintaining and holding the promise and what you believe, what you believe in your heart is true, that you and your twin will come to each other again and again and again and that you are always in union with them. This is your time. So the five body melt, five bodies, five of your five parts of your brand new light body. Now, 
you could say in the old way, you know, what does your human body have? Well, it has systems. It has a digestive system, a respiratory system, uh, an evacuation system, a cleansing system. That's your lymph and sweating and things like that. And you have mobility. Well, your brand new light body has a lot of this. And for those of you who may not know what I'm talking about, starting in February, go and backtrack and look at some of the videos I've already presented. Um, because while I see a lot of people are starting to view my videos, and by all means, they're out there for public to uh, gain some confirmations, to get some information about themselves. I did actually start to present that, and so there's there's still a lot of good information out there that may make sense to you right now about the body parts that you're feeling light up. So, what are these uh, what are these five bodies that are melding or merging together, or as I like to say, melting? They are your your soul. So this is this is actually your soul into the physical. And this is what a lot of people have trouble with. It is, you know, it's it's the spirit and the matter. It's the integration of spirit into matter and it's not living totally in a spiritual world because you are you have made a choice to be in a body incarnate and not totally material. It's finding that balance, finding that middle ground for you. What is that middle ground? Well, different people have different middles. You know, some people are more gregarious, they're outgoing, and they can handle more energies around them. And, and you know, maybe their middle ground is saying no to invitations or no to different events. And other people may live very much uh, in the realm of the spiritual and they need to go out into the material physical world and take some actions and you know there's no right or wrong this is a process for everyone it is a process and your higher self your guides and your the inner promptings of your heart will help you with this you'll be shown things you'll envision things you'll know things inside you and everything is to get you to where you need to be. So all together now, I'm not crazy. You're not crazy with the things that you feel are imagining, but this is a part of the struggle of the metaphysical and the physical, or what we would call maybe the natural and the supernatural worlds. And supernatural does not mean evil or dark. It means those things not of this natural world. But you're being prepared to be a part and have your your really wonderful magnific magnificent magic come forward as the result of your love together now so it is your soul it is the etheric part of you it is your emotional body it is your mental and it is your physical body and by physical body I don't just mean your human body I mean your physical light body which does have a form in fact for some of you you're finding out that you have many forms that you can transform into or you remember being in a different form where your body felt different or for a lot of you where you had wings and those of you who have had wings before and you remember this or you have a perception of I used to fly like as a child I had a lot of flying dreams I love to fly I would fly around I would fly you know maybe 50 feet above the surface here and I would just fly around and then at some point those dreams stop now for some of you um, one of the characteristics of when you've been going out of body and doing some of your preparation you might have one of those blackout nights where you don't remember it's feeling like you're literally dropped into your body you're dropped and you wake with a start and this is one of the characteristics it's going to adjust for you and so you know this is literally the as above so below you're bringing it in here and here's you and so you know you have the your you're putting your Merkaba together or you're putting together your vehicle or your orb or your bubble of light your bubble of love whatever you call it and it's a gradual process along with this um, as a part of your body is going to be your new vision system this is your ocular this is like how you see things in the natural world but it is also your multi-dimensional sight and 
if like um, me, some of you have had already your multidimensional sight, you've had to really work at it and hone your skill of sort of turning the volume up on it and turning the volume down. Or maybe you're clear audience and there's parts of you that are more wired up than other people. So this is what you've been up to maybe solo, maybe even if you're with your twin, you're only up to a certain point. It's going to start up for you. Where you start melding, and this is going to be part of your earth merge, that carries you into your cosmic level merge. That's the first part. And by next year, by around this time next year, many people will be uh, doing their universal soul merge. So there is still more to come. So this is for the people who've aligned themselves to go to the fifth through the ninth dimensions. And many of you have connections beyond that. It is also your divine body. Okay, this, this also makes your soul and your etheric is your divine body. This is your divinity with your beloved. It is housed right in here in your heart. It's accessible. When I do my sessions, I walk people through how to access their own divinity and communicate with their beloved to uh, make some decisions together, to continue the communication. And everything keeps moving along here. So those of you who may have found that certain things that got you to where you're going, whether it's certain things that comfort, you're going to be continuing to crack out of your comfort zones because everything is getting new. And it will require many people to not only be new, but to serve or help or teach or heal or entertain those people who themselves are getting wakened up. Some of you have to get where you're going. Some of you are so speeding along, you're like, I can't help you. I got to get where I am going and, and then I'll turn around and help you. Let me get to the fifth dimension. I'll get everything that's, you know, I feel it can help here. And you're bringing that to the table. And we're all a part of it. And meanwhile, the people that you think are asleep, they're still making sure that there's electricity and there's vehicles and, you know, the oil on the car can get changed. And that does not mean that they are dense or not getting it or something. It's a timing thing. And there are agreements. People have agreements to be here. They have their own soul journey. And part of that soul journey has, yeah, been deciding, I want a brand new body. I want one of those. I want one of those so I could travel around the universe and not get hurt, not have my twins separated from me. Some people have willfully separated from their twin. And that's getting healed right now because that has caused a rift in their soul that is deep. It's deep and it's wounding and it's damaging and it hurts and it makes people cry a lot. And you're coming into the time now where that is healing. And this five body meld is going to heal that for people. So particularly the Blu-ray twin flames, but not exclusive to just Blu-rays. Now, the other thing I want to talk to you about is the illusion of here and being in the new. What this means is that you have to continually align, if you have spent, like I have over the past two years, making at least a connection to the other dimensions. Like, sort of like having a foothold where you're like, oh, I'm going to get my, you know, I'm going to get my foot up there. Or, you know, I'm going to get my foot up there. Or I'm going to, you know, send my python up there. And I'll just, I'll have that connection. You're not... If you're still looking at linear time, if you're still in the psyche, if you're still in the old mental emotional body, you're going to hit that wall. You're going to just see the life as like it ends right here. It ends right here. It's not for this lifetime. What, what you may not realize is that there's this up and over and your brand new life is starting right there. And there are people who have aligned themselves. There are people that um, I think I depicted this. And it doesn't mean everything isn't all done. So, again, I've got my little figures here. So here is 
you know, and, and I don't mean to be sexist here, because this is males, females, straight, heterosexual, gay, lesbian, transgender. But uh, what happens sometimes is that you have people that they know their beloved's, you know, working in the world and they're doing whatever. They're being, in someone's perception, 3D. Now, if you're really sure of who you are, You've been able to feel your twin etherically, being near or being around or over lighting. And what is going to happen for this body meld to occur is that part of your beloved will be completely, the rest of his soul's or her soul is going to walk in and be with you and get the two of you out of here. And it is a choice. It's a choice that was made long ago, but at every given turn you're asked. At every portal, at every equinox, at every solstice you are asked. You know, do you want to be new? Do you want to be new? Let go of those old things. And so those people have made those choices to get divorced, to um, change careers, to move. Whatever it is in your soul agreement to align yourself. And maybe you didn't know what was going on. Maybe you were like, Spirit, why are you telling me to go to this place? I don't get it. But you did it because to not do it hurts. And I'll say this also about Blu-ray Twin Flames and some other uh, rays. A true Twin Flame can actually, um, they, you will only be able to connect with your twin in certain ways. And it's entirely in the body. Even if it's a gradual process, you will be able to, it, it's where your hand, you don't hold hands, your hands fit inside each other. They melt. Five body meld means you melt with each other. And I've had people who say, well, I just want to have sex. I just want to have sex. Well, that's all you're going to get. You're not going to get angelic lovemaking. And I even in my own family had a couple of people say, you know, I just don't really want to call it lovemaking. You call it what you want, but I'm going to call it making love because between true twins, it actually makes love that you vibe out. And as a part of this, also, um, my connection with my beloved is also in the fifth. And what I do is I pull through and I go in what, what I call distribute. I've been distributing little packets of love. And it, it just feels like that's what I'm doing. So I go to the park. I get prompted in the morning. I connect. And, you know, there it is. My twin does what they're doing. And I do this part. And my part is um, public places. Okay, my twin is healthcare and I'm public places. So places like the park, the school, the community center, the post office. That's, that's our grid point and we're just still distributing. So the things that I've worked on to get out of my union, things like my dad was, uh, celi he had celiac disease or gluten intolerance. That's one thing. I don't want to have that. Everyone in my family is having their gallbladders like irritate them in flame. And I worked really, really, really hard to reroute those connections. I fasted, I cleansed, I went around, and then once that template was ready, I distributed it. Okay, the template's out there. It's sitting in the park for people at the right vibration with the wish to say, I want to eat gluten again. I want to have pizza. I want to have bread. I want to, I don't want pain. I want to love the things I once loved as a child. And they'll get it, but they're not going to get it until this uh, meld when the twin flames who are going first start to meld together and merge. And they have created that atomic fusion because how we alchemize, how we create new is through our, our, our God particles literally melding together and becoming new and creating a third energy. That third energy is what alchemizes things into a higher level. Now, you can say, well, nuclear scientists are always already doing this in the Hadron Collider. You know, they're, they're making brand new isotopes. 
Yes, but it's not made with light and love, and it's not made with love making. So what is it doing? It's radioactive. Everybody's afraid. Everybody is scared to death of nuclear, and I'll tell you why. Because when um, Atlantis was invaded, the invaders did have uh, radiation damage. Some of them were seeking healing. Some of them already had those adult heads, and it got pervasive here. So some of them were seeking healing from the Atlantis healers because Atlantis was somewhat of a renowned healing center. And but what you what you we've wound up with is that um, everything affected us, and it hasn't been so far away that we haven't blown off some nuclear devices. It's in the air, but twin flames are the ones who are are alchemizing this or transmuting it or transforming it and removing the harm. We're keeping what's light and, you know, uh, all the things we love, but we're, we're removing the harmful parts. We are reconnecting DNA for people that, you know, might be missing parts of themselves. And they're born that way. Genetic defects, uh, chromosomal anomalies, all kinds of stuff. Okay, now, getting back to the new. So being in the new does mean testing out your body, too. It's going to mean you two flying together. It's going to mean you two going to the fifth dimension. It's going to mean that you two will be able to enjoy. You'll be able to eat without having to survive, like eating to survive. You'll be eating for enjoyment. You'll be playing. And that brings up the next thing. How do you stay connected on high? Balancing work and play is the key. And if you're with your twin, lots of kissing and hugging and playing with your twin. A lot of you two have forgotten how to play with each other. You forgot to incorporate play into your union. And I do applaud those of you who have. Because for some of you, and this is corny, your light bulbs are going off. And for some of you others, yeah, your, your beloved's light bulb is going off. So... Um, you know, never say never and do not, do not, do not be sexist about this. You are equals. Nobody's on a pedestal. Nobody's doing more or knows more than the other. We all need each other. And this is, you know, one of these things most definitely where, you know, we're going to all have to start getting along with each other. Um, but it starts Right here, it starts right here with um, finding your heart. And when you don't know the answers, you're calling upon your higher self and you're connecting. You're connecting with your beloved and your higher self. And so, you know, maybe you don't, maybe you're not with them and you're just saying, Patricia, it hurts too much. My body hurts and I don't know what to play. I don't know how to play. I forgot. Do one thing. I don't know, bake something, draw something, paint something, put on music, dance. Get yourself up there. Be silly. Do you see me? I mean, I'm silly. I got, I got Rudolph here, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I mean, find your sense of humor again. Now, that's another thing I want to mention. And this is especially true for, I, I'm, I'm going to just say this, not just women, but I think a lot of the men. You got to know what you know because some of your guidance is going to verge into the absurd where you're saying, Really? Like, really? Really? Like, that just, it doesn't seem right. It doesn't sound, that sounds like a bunch of baloney. That's really, really? You got to know because you're getting ready to make the jump here to light speed. And yeah, your beloved will feel a disturbance in the fourth. You're going to feel on a whole different level and it's not just you know waking up with the person and you know we're having a good cup of coffee how many people don't want to get away from the poverty and the war and the children being killed let me say something to you those people who around you may be the naysayers and some of them are going to be people watching this video and I just want to say this to you You've heard me talk about flying. You've heard me talk about other forms, other dimensions, other planets. Those are based on my own personal memories and experiences. And 
I couldn't make, I don't think I could write this stuff out the way it happened, the way that, like they say, the truth is stranger than fiction. But here's the thing. How strange is it that children are so terrorized that they come into a school and they start to kill other children? How is it that so much fear has happened that people go and kill some children? Or um, families claim to love each other, but they don't act like it, or they, be, they don't behave like it. Or um, governments, you know, oppress or withhold. Or legislators decide that, well, you just don't need that health care, but I need a pension. Okay, to someone visiting this planet, they would say, oh, you're kidding. That, that's just fantastical. And, and you're allowing other people to say to you, Really? You can fly? I will give you a challenge. I will give you a challenge to the people in your circle. And some of you are going to have holidays coming up here. And you're going to be with family or friends. And you look at them, look them right in the eye and say, didn't you ever dream of your true love? Or don't you remember those flying dreams when you were a kid? Now, they may not have had them. But see if you're going to start to get them to like, huh. Oh, yeah, because those for many of you are your truths. And you would you might be surprised how many people have shoved that down. I've been talking to a lot of people lately. And the thing is, is a lot of people have had to suppress that because of religion, because of their family, because of getting smacked. How many people do you know that cannot cry because maybe dad said to them, stop crying or else I'll give you something to cry about. So you learned and you suppressed your emotions and you didn't show that. And, and now comes along your, your true love and, and your true love is saying, why won't you express to me? Why won't you communicate? Say it. And you're just like, because it hurts, because I'm sensitive. And you just like, get out of here, get out of here. If I'm mean to you, you'll just go away and stop asking me questions. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Because all of that, that stuff from over lifetimes and even this lifetime, it's been shoved inside. Well, all of, all of these parts of you are popping all that off. And you don't need the details. But you might cry. You might feel pain. It is transitory. It's real pain. It's a real experience. I'm not going to sugarcoat that. But... It is transitory and the ability to be new. And some of you are going to be able to help other people with the, how do you get out of a body? How do you get out of this body? Because you're not going to get out of the body by dying, coma, overdose, gun, jumping off a bridge, hitting in the car, fire, any of that. There will still be people exiting this level. That's their sole choice. If your sole choice is that you're doing this in this lifetime and you know, believe with all your heart that your twin is coming to you. Despite however it looks on the surface, that is the illusion of the here and the new. And I'm going to tell you this. Believe, 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 believe that that person walking around, that the love is there, that the universe loves them, you love them. Somewhere, somewhere, their galactic mamas love them because they're here. And he's going to get merged into his, one, his part of your one soul, and then you're going to merge together. Or her, could be a him or a her. It could be a gay, straight, lesbian, trans, any dynamic. Anything that you're here to heal and anything that you're collapsing, you are collapsing your dualities. And, you know, particularly around this time of year, this is, um, this is a pretty, you know, roller coaster ride for a lot of people. A lot of people have a nice time. I mean, a lot of people say, ooh, it's a pagan time of year. It's the solstice. And we've got the everlasting life of the evergreen. And other people say, ooh, it's materialistic. Ooh, all people want is money and gifts. And look, there's a symbol of the Illuminati. Ooh. And other people are like, wait a minute. I need this to make life comfortable here. I still live here and I need some of this. Well, it's coming. And all I can tell you is those people who are ready to merge and go, they're going to open the doors for this everlasting life, brand new, 
for the abundance and um, for your true abundance. And I want to kind of show you how um, I guess I could depict this, okay? Because I've been able to I've been able to see it with my heart vision and how how this uh, was. I remember I was someplace. And this woman I knew, and honestly, she I could feel a vibe from across the room, like we were sitting in a circle. I could feel her, wah, wah, her heart vibing. I'm like, who is it? I'm like, is it this lovely person? It was a person you would least expect, because you can't tell any of it just by looking at us. I mean, look at us. Some of us, you just can't tell what fabulous you know, wonderful lovers we are, how healthy we are, everything we're bringing to the table. But you've been um, twined with your lover here, and so you've got you, and you've got your lover here, okay, and there's, there's a part of you that's up here, okay, where you're all, this is where you're already merged. These are places you've already merged and where you've collapsed your duality. So here's your merging point. This is the strength of your union. And there is, while there may be a physical separation or a spouse or a boyfriend, girlfriend, or a job or a geographic location separating you, there is no separation. You can feel that person on the inside. You can feel them if they get drunk. You know, if they're going to holiday parties and they're getting drunk, you might feel it. You might feel the hangover. And it's important to, you know, be in what you know. How can you honor yourself if you don't honor how you feel about that? And you say, hey, you know, we're merged. You're mer we belong to each other in the most essential way possible. No more drinking. It doesn't belong in our union. Or... No more drugs, or you have to stop working. My hands are hurting. My, I, I can't function here. It's, it's going to be time, and I'll tell you why. The next open portal, and there's going to be another tetrad of moon cycles next year. The next one's March Equinox 2015. So um, the end of this month, December into January, February is going to be a choice point for people. And going into March, the big opening. And it's going to continue. Decide for yourself which wave you want to be in because the waves are going to come. You don't have to know how. You just have to be like, ooh, the wave's coming. Come on, let's, let's get on the surfboard. Let's get all ready. Okay, let's ride the wave. And you ride it through and you don't pay any attention to all the crud that falls off of your bodies. Okay, so... We're coming into a pretty powerful time. My guides promise me it is going to be more powerful than 1967 when the wave of love came through and everyone was like, woohoo, free love, free love. The feeling of love is in the air and, and yet with people behaving appropriately about it, not a free for all, not, you know, not people being promiscuous. More and more people are going to align with their true love where you don't want all those other people in your energy because it's like having other people in your bedroom and you just don't want it. So thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season no matter if you celebrate Hanukkah, Christmas, New Year's, Solstice, if you're pagan, if you are... Um, Muslim, if you are Hindu, if you are Jain, if you, whatever, whatever upbringing you have, I hope that you celebrate your own union and really enjoy the spirit of the season because the spirit of the season here where the, the way I feel, it's the spirit of love. So thank you so much and I will say goodbye now. Bye.